Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss another Microsoft Word tutorial and basically a look at how to update many captions and cross references at the same time. This is extremely useful, especially when you are writing a really huge report like I did earlier. I had to write my thesis, and this saved uh, many hours of time. Uh, basically, uh, this this uh, Word file that I have has an automated table of contents and etc. as a an appendix and table of figures. I made all of these in my earlier videos and I'm just building up upon it. So make sure to watch those in the video link below. I'm using Office 2007, but it, this uh, this method should work for all ver versions of Office. Pretty sure. So right now there's a bunch of headings right here. Now what I mean by updating at once is like uh, if you use that uh, figures caption, let's put these in the center. So here's, here's just a random meme and then there's let's say you figure 3.1 and you could do that just by going to the references tab and you could insert caption. Let's just go insert another caption. Let's go uh, 3.2 exclude. Keep it there and stuff right here. Put it in the center. Press control E. So we have in the center. So you have a figure here in automatic. This is an automatic figure. It's 3.1, 3.2 based on this three and, but, and for the appendix. Uh, I should like I showed my earlier video. If you want to refer this to the B instead, you just go Edit Field, make sure it's uh, selected to Appendix, and then Preserve. So it goes to B point three. Uh, I showed this in my earlier video. Explain it a bit more. So make sure to watch that. So basically, what I mean by uh, uh, updating all of these is, for example, if you were to let's say copy and paste this, let's say copy paste this, it's gonna be three point two. And then, uh, yeah, so nothing gets uh, updated automatically here. So sometimes you have to manually update. So if you go right click, update, no, that one's okay. That's 3.2. And this one, update, it's going to go 3.3 right here. So, uh, but the problem is if you have a bunch of this and if you have a bunch of these that are wrong, or especially when you start cross referencing. So if I go to cross reference, for example, I would be like uh, blah, 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 C uh, figure, th and you want to say figure 3.1. So you go cross-reference, uh, then you can do any, any kind of cross-reference. You can do a numbered heading, uh, you can do bookmark, or etc. I'll just go to the figure. I'll go only the label number, so 3.1. So we insert it there. So we have this one right here. But let's say you were to make a new figure before this. So you go insert caption, I'll put, in cent put this in the center again, and you go first figure. But, but see, this one's referring to 3.1, but I don't want it to do that. I want to refer to 3.2 right here. So the idea is basically uh, instead of going, you could, you could go like this and update. So then that automatically goes to this. But if, let's say you have hundreds of these references. I'll just undo this one so it's, it's there. Uh, let's say you had hundreds of these because if you were like, what well, I wrote a, a giant document with a bunch of cross references. So anytime I make a new figure, I have to update every single one manually, but it is an easier way to do that. All you do is actually press Control and A or highlight all, and then you could just go click update, and and this updates everything. So Word is updating table of contents. You could all update it all at the same time. So just go and update an entire table, and then it it should ask for the figure. This one didn't have to update much. But yeah, so everything is updated as 3.2. Just a little little weird thing. I don't know why this 3.5 got changed back to it. Sometimes Office Word does that. I do not know. So we just uh, once again click edit this. B, uh, yeah, B.5 update. Let's see this. Yeah, so we have uh, B.5. Uh, and basically, yeah, so if you have a bunch of stuff, uh, and you could also, if, let's say, if we do this. Copy. So the idea is basically just highlight whatever you want to update and then do it all. So this one, if you want to update, let's just copy another one. So we have 3.4. You could either do highlight all and do it, or you could even just select the ones you want only here and you can go update field. So this 3.4, 3.5, 3.6. So this is a really quick way to update a lot of stuff at once. And, and if you have a lot of cross references, you could either hi you could highlight everything and do it, or just whatever ones that you know are changed. Well, anyway, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully, you'll learn from this uh, tutorial. This this is uh, could save you hours if you're writing a big paper and you're using these automated cross references, which is really useful at, with Microsoft Word. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned and stay tuned for another math easy solution.